Hello students, welcome back to TMI's home page education. Now today we are going to start with the new topic that which you are already knowing, which we had covered in fifth also, that is area. Now area means you know the amount of surface enclosed by the rows the figure is called its area. Koi bhi ek figure hai, uske andar jitna bhi surface jo hai, wo cover kiya hai, that is called the area of the figure. If I draw a rectangle, so whatever surface is covered by this rectangle, that will be called its area. So this whole part will be considered the area of that figure. So this is <coughs> what the area means. So the figure is in the space occupied here. That will be called its area and perimeter. In perimeter we have studied that when we add the boundary. For the sum of side, then we get the perimeter. Roy perimeter ke under jo bhi space hai, that will be called the area of that figure. So let us begin then with again two formulas. Area of square. So as you are knowing, in area of square, all sides are equal. So the formula which will be formed that will be always. As all four sides are equal, and if we want to find out the area of that square, then, then we have to just multiply side into side, or it can be written as side square. There is some centimeter square, meter square, like that. Like that, you can write it as side square also. And if you want to find out area of rectangle. So area of rectangle again same way there it will be in the form of a length and breadth. So the formula for area of rectangle will be length into breadth. When we will do it, we will get the area of the rectangle, and when we will multiply side into side, that will be the area of square. So this is what we are going to apply the. Next exercise that is step point three. In that, the first one is given. Find the area of the rectangle whose sides are. Whose so sides are means first that given that it is a rectangle and its sides are means one will be length and one will be breadth. So always the side which is written first that will be considered as length and the second side will be considered as breadth. So let us start with the exercise then. This exercise. 10.3 question number one. First one, the sides are given three centimeter and four centimeter. So we will take length is equal to three centimeter and breadth is equal to four centimeter. And we have to find out what area of rectangle. So we will apply that formula. That therefore, area of rectangle is equal to Length into breadth, so that comes to three into four, which is equal to twelve centimeter square. In putting the units, you have to be careful. The unit will be always in square unit, meter square, centimeter square. But if we if we go for perimeter, then the unit will be in centimeter and meter only. It will not go in square because we are there. We are just Adding the side, so it will remain in centimeter only. But as we are multiplying length into breadth, so centimeter also into centimeter, it will become centimeter square. So that was your first sum. Then rest three you can do it by yourself. In that just fourth one, you have to be very careful where one is given in meter and another one is given in centimeter. So do one thing, change. Meter into centimeter, and you get the answer in centimeter square. Or if you want to change it into meter, say seventy centimeter into meter, then also, but the answer will come in points. That is the difference. Otherwise, it will be one and the same. 
Question number two, we have to find out the area of square for sides are being given. So square is the area of side is the area is because in square all the four sides are equal. So side we can write first one, it's ten centimeter. So what we have to find out area of square is equal to Side into side and side. How much we are having? Ten. So ten into ten it becomes hundred centimeter square. Is the area of the given square whose side is ten centimeter. So square is very simple. Then question number three also. The length and breadth of the rectangles are given below nine meter, six meter, and like that three sums are being there. Now, after solving all the three, at last it is being asked that which one has the largest area and which one has the smallest area. So, this the largest area. I will just write down. For example, if four and fourteen meter are having larger area, for example, I don't know because I have not calculated. So, what we will write? The area of and uh, sorry, four meter and fourteen meter is having. The largest area, the smallest, is that measurement left and right, and that is the it is having the smallest area. So that is what we you have to do it in question number three. Now question number four, it is being given that the area of a rectangular garden is 50 meter and 50 meter long, is 300 square meter. Find the width of the garden. They go till now we used to find out what The area of rectangle and area of square, but here it is already given. Okay, the area of rectangular garden 50 meter long. 50 meter long means the length is being given 50 meter, and area of that rectangular field is also given that is 300 square meter. We have to find out the breadth of that rectangular field. So whatever is being given that. We will write down first, and then we will find out the length by applying the formula for area of rectangle. So, question number three: length of rectangular field is being given that is fifty. Meter and area is also given. So area of rectangle field that is 300 meter square that is already being given. Now we will apply the same formula area of Rectangular field, so that comes to length into breadth. Now area is being given, so we'll write down here area is 300. Length we are having 50, so 50 into breadth that we have to find out. So therefore we have to find out breadth. So we can write as or do. Now this 50, which is in multiplication, will go in. Division. So zero zero gets cancelled. Five ones are in five. Six are therefore that we get is six meter. Okay. Every time it's directly not going to be able to find out the length or length and breadth is given, and you have to find out the area. Sometimes we have to find out breadth or length also. Whatever is missing. Now, let us see question number five. It is given what is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land 50 meter long and 200 meter wide at the rate of rupees 8 per 100 square meter. <coughs> Means it is given that one rectangular plot has to be tiled. The length and breadth of the plot is being given. 
और एक स्क्वायर मीटर टाइल लगाने का कॉस्ट कितना है दैट इज आल्सो बीइंग गिवन दस रुपीस एट पर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर ओके इस गिवन पर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कि वो पूरे प्लॉट में टाइल लगाने के लिए कितना कॉस्ट होगा दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ इज बीइंग गिवन सो फ्रॉम दैट कॉस्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ दैट प्लॉट सो इट्स अ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट सो व्हाट वी विल राइट इट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सो इट्स फिफ्थ वन This was yeah, fourth one. Now question number five. The cost, sorry, the length of rectangular plot is given. So length of rectangular plot that is 500 meter. Then. Breadth of rectangular plot is given as 200 meter. So now what we will find out? Because tiles are to be laid down on that rectangular plot. Plot pe tiles lagani hai. So tiles will be always placed between that. This time, for example, you are having your रूम एट योर होम तो हम टाइल्स कहाँ पे लगाते हैं बाउंड्रीज के बीच में मीन्स दीवार जो होते हैं उसके बीच में जितना भी एरिया है देर वी यूज टू पुट द टाइल्स सो हियर ऑल्सो सेम थिंग वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया सो एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट दैट वी वी आर गिंग एंड इट शुड बी सो फाइव हंड्रेड इन टू 200 and 5 plus that is 10 and this four zeros. This much meter square is the area of that plot. So, ये area हो रहा है वो पूरे plot का. Now how it is given? That rupees eight per hundred square meter. Hundred square meter लगाने के लिए चार्ज कितना हो रहा है एट रुपीज तो हमारे पास वी आर हैविंग वन लैक मीटर स्क्वेयर तो उसके लिए कितना होगा सो वॉट विल ड्राइव दैट कॉस्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ टाइलिंग हाउ मच हंड्रेड मीटर स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एट That is being given that the rate of rupees eight per hundred square meters. So hundred meters square rupees. Uh, so hundred meters square के लिए कितना cost कर रहा है eight rupees. So we are having cost of tiling one lakh meters square is equal to what cross multiplication. So one lakh into a upon hundred. So zero zero will be cancelled, and finally eight into thousand will come as rupees eight thousand. So this much will be the cost of tiling this rectangular plot, which is having one lakh meter square area. The question me diya tha normally one meter square diya hota. But here it is being given कि 100 meters square लगाने के लिए एक दे आर चार्जिंग 8 रुपीस, so we are having 1 lakh meters square. So for that how much rupees will be charged? So students in today's video just this much. In the next video we will continue with the exercise. So till then thank you.